the one thing with Randy, you know, I've, with pretty much everyone else in the world, if you give them the actual information they need to make a decision, they pretty much will always make a decision that's in their best interest. So, you know, they, they he wasn't being given the information he needed. They were telling him what to do, and he wasn't agreeing with them. Yeah. They, they, they weren't saying this is why, or here's right. the research. And so around that time, I started doing a lot of research, okay. and, you know, bookcases full of books uh -huh. on... Um, the immune system. I was still working in the microbiology lab, so you know, part of my job was putting away medical journals. So I was reading the Lancet and the New England Journal of Medicine, and you know, I was reading all all the journals that were coming into the microbiology lab. I hardly ever did my job. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I was learning a lot, learning a lot about upcoming treatments and and places, other places to access information as well. So. When I went to the AIDS Coalition, I think in terms of the disease and treatments that were available at the time, I was pretty well informed because, it's, you know, especially within the hemophilia community, there were very different side effects. You know, I discovered quite by accident that um, one of the early treatments um, could cause esophageal bleeds. And Randy was on that drug. And oh I was like, oh my God, he's going to have an esophageal bleed. Sure enough, he had one. And, you know, prior to that, you know, just nobody, the hemophilia clinic wasn't making the connection with the HIV meds, and the, the HIV clinic wasn't necessarily making the connection with the hemophilia. Hemophilia as a disease, although they certainly knew about it. Just that connection wasn't there. So, you know, I was already, even before I went to the coalition, having other hemophiliacs from across the country calling me and saying, well, they're suggesting I go on this, and what do you think about that? And so, um, you know, again, I, I guess that was a kind of activism yeah. that I was doing. And, you know, to me it just felt like, well, I kind of have the time and I can read this stuff. And so, you know, yeah. it, that I, that's what I can do here.